Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's doing well. And today we're going to be talking about another potential Algerian international, the next player to join the Algerian Belmadi revolution, the second generation to win another Africa Cup of Nations title next time around and hopefully reach the World Cup in a few years' time. And that is Mr Mehdi Lloris. This is a 24-year-old footballer who currently plays in the Serie A in Italy with Sampdoria. And of course, Sampdoria, a very big club in terms of European traditions, European history. So a decent level, of course, to be playing at in Serie A. So Mehdi Lloris, 24 years of age. Of course, from the first name, you can probably tell that he's Algerian. But it's, again, Algerian through his mother's side, born in France. Father isn't French on this one, his dad is from Spain. So an Algerian mother, a Spanish father, and born in France. Which I think is a bit like the, the F1 driver in Formula 1, um, Esteban Ocon. I think he's the exact same mix. Anyway, that's racing, we're talking about football. Um, 24 years of age, so lots of potential. The best is yet to come, a player for the future. Not one of these 30, 31 year old players that are a bit old and, and slow. But he's a versatile player. Now, he can play on the right wing, he can play even on the left wing, and he can even play as a central midfield player. I still don't know from what I've seen of him what his actual best player is. He might be a Sofian Faguli type player that started out as a winger and then sort of morphed into a central midfield player where he doesn't need to have pace, but he can still dictate play, play good passes and get goals and assists. So we might see Mehdi Lloris as a future centre mid, but of course he can do a job in a more attacking wing area as well and this has come to light because he has started following Algerian players on social media and been in contact with the FAF about a potential switch to Algeria because he's not played for Algeria at any sort of youth level he's got a French passport he can get the Spanish nationality as well it looks like he wants to go for the Algerian nationality and that of course means playing for the Algerian national team is it a position Algeria need players I think the right wing were okay Mares, Adabou Nurse, Rashid Gazelle for now Mehdi Lloris in midfield maybe, or maybe it's sort of a, a central attacking midfield area that we don't really seem to see used under Belmadi. A Ben Rahma, a Boulaya, a Yassin Brahimi, maybe Mehdi Lloris could come and play in that role as well. But we'll see how he does. He might even go deep as a CDM. I don't think he's got the qualities for a CDM just yet. But if a player has, is of course, born abroad and, and registers an interest in playing for the Algerian national team, then we shouldn't really be saying no to them, of course, unless they're like pretty bloody useless. But why not give him the passport, play him in a friendly, give him a couple of caps and see what he can do. With some players it's worked. You look at the likes of Tuba Zaruki. With others, Mehdi Zarakan, uh, Medjorb at the back. Not so not so much. Uh, Ilen Kabal, of course. So you don't lose anything and get the player on board. He's an Algerian international, willing us to play for the team, approaching us rather than us approaching him. Let's see what he can do. So if anyone does have any expertise on Mehdi Lloris, leave a comment down below. Um, let me know your thoughts. Is this a player you want to see? Is it another player you're happy? Part of this sort of revolution with Bilal Brahimi, Anthony Mandrea, Delore coming back, Zedud Kurt right back, those sorts of players come in, into the fold. And of course, the likes of Awar Adli and Aitnori, inshallah, down the line as well. So let me know your thoughts on Mehdi Lloris potentially playing for Algeria in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, do you want to hit that 15,000 subscriber mark? Thanks for watching. Drop a like. I'll see you next time.